Oof. Y'all are seeing me in all my uh, lion's mane glory today. Um, anyway, but hi. It's been a while. Um, I've missed y'all. And so I was going through my old videos and I found a uh, question submitted by somebody who had seen my videos that I had missed. And so I decided that I'd go ahead and uh, do a vlog topic on it because I haven't had anything else come in. So yeah, here goes. Um, this is from Sandy Powell and they asked, what would happen if you didn't take your medicine? And that's a very good question because I can tell from experience because I've done that before. Um, basically the kind of medicine I'm on is a birth control in a sense. Um, so if I don't take it, I get a lot of pms -y type symptoms like irritability, uh, headaches, sometimes nausea if it's been a while uh, since I've taken it, like a week or so. Um, but yeah, basically it's not fun. It just makes me feel terrible and you can definitely tell a difference when I take it and when I don't and my family can tell the difference. Um, my mom has actually asked me a couple times, hey, uh, you take your medicine? <laughs> so we kind of joke about it you know but it's not something that I you know worry about it's just normal especially after three years this month four years four years this month that I've since I've been diagnosed and so I've been taking it for four years um in some dosage and so now it's just kind of a routine and habit um and so, yeah, thank you for the question, Sandy. Um, but, yeah, I wanted to touch on something real fast before I sign off. Uh, I've had more and more people coming up to me and be like, oh, my gosh, you know, I had no idea that you were diagnosed with this. And um, I was, too, or I know somebody who is, or da-da-da. And I'm realizing that this is more common Um than somebody who has this would feel like it was. So if you have turners and feel like you're all alone, reach out to somebody because more than likely, reach out to me, I don't care, but more than likely somebody you know knows somebody who has it. Like I had a family friend of mine come up to me a couple weeks ago and tell me um, she found somebody who had it and they, she just found out in conversation. And when you start to make connections like that, it helps you to talk it out and it helps you to come to terms with it and accept it and everything that goes along with it. And it even kind of makes you a little bit proud to be a girl with Turner's because it opens up so many different avenues for you. Like I wouldn't be doing this vlog if it wasn't for Turner's honestly because my life was average and I didn't feel like I had anything to vlog about. But now that I know that I'm dealing with this and I can talk about this and raise awareness about it to other people, um, it gives me something to talk about and it gives me an outlet and it gives me an opportunity to connect with people and reach people that I never um, would have connected with before. So anyway, I just wanted to encourage y'all with that. Um, and so yeah, keep sharing my videos. Um, tweet me or email me with topics. Um, my email is thatgirlwithturners at gmail.com and my Twitter's is thatgirlwithturners at thatgirlwithturners. And yeah, I look forward to hearing from y'all or you can comment below um, and let me know because I love making vlogs for you but I really can't if I don't have topics because I can't come up with any. <laughs> Sorry. But um, I love you guys and thank you for watching. Bye.